Jeremy Clarkson couldn't resist taking a swipe at Meghan Markle in his latest column this week, where he paid a lengthy tribute to the late Queen. Queen Elizabeth II died aged 96 surrounded by her loved ones at Balmoral on Thursday. The nation grew concerned for her health when Buckingham Palace announced she was under medical supervision. Following her passing, Jeremy Clarkson penned a tribute on social media and also dedicated his latest column to her. The 62-year-old began by telling readers he had struggled to sleep on the day it was announced and went on to call the Queen our unchanging rock. Reflecting on her 70 years on the throne, he went on to say, what's truly incredible is that she never really changed. It was pointed out this week that she never went out of fashion because she was never in it. That is so true. And so admirable. Swiping at Meghan Markle however, he added to the sun, she didn't see herself, as Meghan does, as a clothes horse or an advertising hoarding for people who make frocks and earrings. Jeremy also pointed out that Her Majesty had also never even changed her hair. Adding to his column, he continued, I loved her for that, the fact that she very obviously chose her outfit to suit the prevailing weather conditions, not the latest issue of Vogue. The presenter went on to praise the Queen for serving her duty and always being kind. Following his mother's death, Prince Charles was immediately appointed as King Charles III, while his wife Camilla became the Queen Consort. Yesterday, he addressed the nation for the first time since the news. He began his speech by paying tribute to his late mum, who he described as an inspiration. We owe her the most heartfelt debt any family can owe to their mother for her love, affection, guidance, understanding and example, he shared. The new king went on to say the queen had a life well lived and is mourned most deeply in her passing. Jeremy believes Charles has what it takes to follow in his mother's footsteps with his new position. He went on to say he had high hopes for William as well, now the new Prince of Wales. The flight of Queen Elizabeth II's casket from Edinburgh, Scotland, to her final resting place in London has become the most tracked flight in history. The Queen's coffin was carried in processions around Scotland, where the Queen died at the age of 96 last week. She was then flown from the country's capital to London on Tuesday, drawing in a record 5 million plus viewers. The Royal Air Force flight carrying Queen Elizabeth II's coffin from Edinburgh to RAF Northolt near London set an all-time flight tracking record on Flight Radar 24 with 5 million people following along. 4.79 million people viewed the flight across Flight Radar 24 web and mobile app services and a further 296,000 followed the flight via YouTube live stream, the flight tracking service Flight Radar 24 said in a blog post. In total we processed 76.2 million requests related to this flight alone, that's any action by a user, like clicking on the flight icon, clicking on the aircraft information in the left side box, or adjusting settings, it added. Within the first minute of the aircraft's transponder activating, 6 million people attempted to click on the flight carrying the Queen. That put unprecedented strain on the flight radar 24 platform, far beyond even what we experienced when the US Speaker of House flew to Taiwan, the service said. Even though our platform suffered under such heavy load, Queen Elizabeth II's final flight from Edinburgh to RAF Northfield, is by far the all-time most tracked flight on Flight Radar 24 and will likely remain at the top for a long while. The Queen's funeral will be held on September 19 at Westminster Abbey, the same location as her 1947 wedding and 1953 coronation, according to People magazine. She will be laid to rest next to Prince Philip, her husband of 73 years.